I'm very pleased to announce this morning that the Autonomous Systems Policy Initiative will now become the Autonomous Systems Policy Institute at Syracuse University. ASPE is a brand new institute at SU. We're looking at the design and technology aspects of autonomous systems broadly defined, the policy, law, and governance of autonomous systems, and all of the really complicated social implications and impacts of autonomous systems in the world around us. And our goal as an institute is to put the research, training, and the information that we produce at the center of that. The change we expect from emerging technologies comes with a combination of velocity, scale, and force our planet has never seen. I'm really excited about this institute. It's really uh, groundbreaking and unique. This is one of the only places in the world where you have a top journalism program and a top policy program and a thriving engineering school and a thriving law school. ASPE is a perfect match for SU because it's designed to be deeply interdisciplinary. It touches on faculty expertise and interest in all the different schools and colleges. I get really jazzed up about creating opportunities for interdisciplinary engagement. I have had the chance and uh, fortune of working with amazing uh, people across disciplines, which led to very exciting projects and productive collaboration. They're going to take a diversity of opinions and perspectives to launch autonomous systems into our society. There's a lot of value from a discipline perspective that uh, academia can bring. We expect to be a leading voice at the intersection of autonomous systems, policy, law, and governance in the world. The Chancellor had a vision for a university-wide institute that would really take on this issue of emerging technologies. I think the university as a leader gets unprecedented in terms of colleges and universities taking this head on. If we ever hope to regulate these systems in a way that they need to be regulated and honestly deserve to be regulated, we have to increase the speed and the competence of our policy development. We're trying to catch up and we're excited by the types of technologies that come. So when we think about autonomous vehicles or drones, especially in Syracuse where there's an active UAS space, we want it to be here. But also thinking about how do we ensure that people are safe, that the technologies are being deployed in a way that we're comfortable is really critical. We're talking about a technology that bridges into transportation and education and healthcare. Having a variety of stakeholders at the table matters. We need that type of cross-disciplinary uh, focus to ensure that we're building systems that are responsible and ethical. We have this amazing opportunity to get our students into a field as it emerges. SU is taking care of the future and addressing change as it's happening. I think the Institute will do a great job of addressing that and creating world thinkers and leaders, the greater societal impacts will be outstanding. What I got from this discussion is that early planning is very important, especially for the policy side of things. Uh, I want to hear about what people are thinking and uh, the importance of it and how to plan ahead and address these kind of issues. The future involves all of us. It is a diverse range of people like myself that sit at the table, whether my background demographically or my background intellectually. And that's important because this technology has a lot at stake. I think it's a conference that needs to be done every year so that we can continue to bring the best and the brightest minds to Syracuse University.